what did you say about the informant who was indicted by the Justice Department on the suspected trafficking issue that you know, Comer has promoted as an informant in the Biden investigation? Do you, does that undermine the case? No, it wouldn't undermine the case because if you extrapolate that even further, um, the, the Justice Department went after him. Well, Hunter Biden received more money from the same foreign C CEFC company that this informant did, much more. That was House Speaker Kevin McCarthy being informed in real time that the GOP's much hyped Hunter Biden whistleblower is actually a federally indicted Chinese spy. And you can actually see Kevin's entire brain freeze. No, it wouldn't undermine the case because if you extrapolate that even further, um, the, the Justice Department went after him. Oh man, that is not good for House Republicans because they've built their entire majority on proving to the American people just how corrupt Hunter Biden really is. Instead, they've ended up duped by a guy who actually did exactly what they're accusing Hunter Biden of. And this isn't just your normal run-of-the-mill humiliation. On Wednesday, House Oversight Committee Chairman James Comer joined Newsmax to say the world would be shocked at the new whistleblower. Boy, was he right. No, he's very credible, and the people on MSNBC who made fun of me when I said uh, we had an informant that was missing, they should feel like fools right now. They are fools. Uh, and this is their worst nightmare because, uh, again, this is a credible witness that the FBI flew all the way to Brussels to interview and sent several agents to interview. So I guess there's good news and bad news for far-right wingnuts like Comer. The good news is you finally found an actual Chinese foreign agent. The bad news is he was working for you. And for once, Democrats didn't miss the opportunity to shine a spotlight on just what a mess Republicans have created for themselves. Take Florida Congressman Jared Moskowitz, who had this to say during a House hearing on Thursday. Can you imagine if someone audited this committee? Oh, oh wait, I, I have that audit of this committee. <clears throat> Actually, it's in form of an indictment. That's the audit of this committee. It's an indictment by the Department of Justice because this committee is focusing on working with foreign agents, right? We want to talk about national security. That's why you guys are here. It's about national security. But the main committee is working with an indicted Chinese agent who does business with the Iranian regime and is an illegal arms dealer to Libya. You gotta hand it to the Republicans. When they commit to finding the worst person out there, they really commit to it. And as Moskowitz makes clear, all that corruption casts more than a little doubt on the legitimacy of the Hunter Biden hearings. All of this in order to own Hunter Biden. That's how far they've stooped. It reads like a 007 movie, this indictment, except they're working with the villain. You know, that's why I've sent a letter to the China Select Committee, the chairman of that committee, to open up into a, an investigation into what's happening in oversight, because I'm deeply worried about whether the CCP has manipulated the information that's been provided to this committee through their foreign agent that they're working with and the information that they're then providing to the American people. It's also why I sent a letter to the chairman of foreign affairs and the chairman of homeland security. This week marks yet another historic first for Kevin McCarthy. McCarthy is now the first speaker in history to end up getting his own party investigated for working with foreign spies. And these are the guys who can't stop talking about national security. They have a right to know whether the indicted foreign agent, the illegal arms salesman who is working within the Iranian regime, who is a supporter of terrorism around the world, that's who they're working with. <clears throat> we need to know whether they have jeopardized homeland security in their search to help Donald Trump in his reelection. I yield back. Oh yeah, and of course, Donald Trump is involved because the Republican whistleblower initially caught the attention of the Department of Justice for trying to buy access to Donald Trump for prominent Chinese backers. He also failed to report any of that, which is a real big boy crime. Now, you might be thinking, doesn't an indicted arms dealer have an incentive to try and help Republicans? Yes, he does. Because as Steve Bannon showed us, Trump rewards people who are willing to break the law for him. And if Trump becomes president again, watch the whistleblower's charges disappear. You might also be saying, well, doesn't that make him not a very credible witness? Also, yes, but Republicans don't care about credibility. They want political theater. And boy, did they get it. Just 
not the way they actually wanted. With the GOP's Hunter Biden conspiracy falling apart and now threatening to deal real damage to Republicans, we're witnessing the last desperate scramble to prop up what's always been a flimsy house of lies. Unfortunately, House Republicans are stuck with Kevin McCarthy. And unless Kevin can get a lot better at lying, it doesn't look like the GOP's Hunter Biden scandal will survive the heat of the summer. Did you know Republicans are still trying to figure out what their Hunter Biden conspiracy theory is? Check out this video to learn a little bit more. And as always, leave a comment below so you can let me know what I should cover next.